Are you sick of waiting for large video files to upload or want to optimize your videos for YouTube and other platforms? I have a great solution for you. This video is all about a program called Handbrake. The link is in the description for you to download it. It's free and I will show you exactly how it works in just a moment. But first, I want to explain what it's for and when to use it. Handbrake is a little free program that lets you compress the size of your video file. That's not the size of the screen, that's the size of the actual file so you can transfer it to places with less bandwidth on your internet. The thing about video more than any other files is that they're very large. And when you do editing of videos, you commonly end up with very large files. We're often talking about gigabytes when you export your videos from an editing program. So that's very large and it can be very slow to upload to the internet. Now, if you've got very fast bandwidth, then you can upload your files as they are. But most people don't have fast enough bandwidth to really justify uploading three or four gigabytes at a time. So that's where Handbrake comes in. Handbrake makes the file smaller without losing the quality. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you in Handbrake the settings that I use when I'm uploading and a couple of combinations that you can look at. There's many, many options within Handbrake and this is just gonna give you the ones that I use and if you wanna start exploring, you can start playing around with it to your heart's content. It's important to note that we're not using Handbrake on your phone videos, okay? They don't need to be compressed, they're already compressed well. This is just stuff you're doing on your computer. All right, come with me and I'll show you the settings I use for Handbrake on a Mac. So I'll quickly show you the settings that I use all the time. This is a video I've already edited and I've loaded up to compress. And the first thing I do is I go down to the file name and I always add HB on the end. And that just means that I won't be overwriting the source file. Also select the location and I'll just put it to the desktop now. So you want to do that and remember what you did last time. Next I look at the preset. So the preset I use is this fast 1080p 30 and I'll make some changes. So the first thing is you'll see that the format is mp4 file. If it's not that, just set it to mp4. That's the simplest one and most readily understood container. I click on web optimize. Um, I go along to dimensions, check that it's got the full storage size, which should be the size of the frame you're starting off with. If there's any changes, just clear them out here because it can crop them sometimes depending on the size of your video. Um, I jump to video and you always want to go to same as source. Smart thing to do, you don't want to change the frame rate. And next I go to audio and I just set it to the highest audio that I can. Once I've done those things, then I just click on start and it will start processing that and it'll take as long as it takes depending on the length of the video. And now it's finished, all you need to do is just look at your file and, and as you can see it's 548 megabytes and the original version was 1.86 gigabytes. And some files can compress even smaller depending on the information in the video. Was this video helpful? Let us know in the comments below. This video here is also recommended for you, so check it out and I'll see you in there.